Hey church, just wanted to make a quick video trying to help people as they are having worship in their homes, especially if you're streaming worship or <coughs> looking at a video with your whole family or your worship group. On here, this is um, my laptop. As you can see, it's, what's the top? it's the standard size laptop. It's got volume. So it's a good way to watch, watch something online, uh, stream worship. This is a YouTube video, but it's, it works the same because we're going to be talking about how to get everything that's on your laptop screen onto this TV screen. This TV screen, it's the TV that is in our living room. This is our living room. This is where we get together when we eat and when we watch stuff. So I think it's a really good idea to keep that in mind, keep the same basic principles of togetherness and family activity to our new way of worshiping. This is the TV. It's connected to my PlayStation 4 right now. Control with the remote. It's got a bigger screen. The stuff can go up better, a lot better speakers. So it's something you'll want to use if we're trying to worship in a larger setting than just one person on the laptop. How does the video get from this right machine right here to this machine? Well, it's done, and you're going to see the picture go out right about now. But the PlayStation is still on, if you look at the light. It's still on, there's no video. That's because I unplugged the HDMI cable. The HDMI cable is how the high definition video moves from whatever it's attached to, to the TV right here. As you can see, it's plugged in, so that's why the video went from the PlayStation to the TV. So a few things to note about HDMIs. HDMI refers to the job of the cable, essentially. It's not a brand name. This HDMI cable, it will work on my PlayStation 4, it will work on my PlayStation 3, it will work on an Xbox, it will work on any game console that uses high definition video. If your DVD player came with something labeled an HDMI cable, that will work for what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take this laptop and you see this port right here. This right here is where the HDMI cable can be inserted into your laptop. This should be standard on most laptops. So I'm going to plug this in. And we'll quickly see that what's on TV has changed. It's now a empty desktop screen with uh, standard taskbars and everything. That's because the way I have it set up is the dual monitors. Let me show you about that. If you right click on your desktop, click display settings you'll get this settings screen this is telling you that it detects two monitors I have it set up to extend this display so when I move this mouse here I can slide it all the way over to the right of this screen and it comes out on the left of this TV screen however maybe you want to set it up where it will show only or duplicate these displays that means your laptop display will be copied while remaining on your laptop onto here. So not only I have one. It really doesn't matter which way you do it. I prefer to extend the display. So what we can do with that is we go back to whatever video we want to share. It's still in a window. We'll grab that window and we'll just slide it over like we slid our mouse onto this display. And then we can press full screen and then we can press play is that our speaking influences other people and the good thing about this is that it's on the TV so not only is it bigger but I need to charge my laptop obviously but we can also use our TV remote to increase the volume and so it works just like your TV so 
I hope that this will help you as you are finding new ways to worship, as you're streaming worship with your family, as you're looking at other videos, or even if you're listening to a file that you downloaded, for instance, polishing the pulpit, they have audio files, you can download that right on your laptop, and then you can play it out of your TV. So I hope this has made, has helped people come to find an easier way as they worship. Good luck to everyone out there.